Um, hello, I'm Pink, and today I'll be interviewing Mr. Adam. Yay! Hi. The first question is, what was the most embarrassing thing you did in public? I've done many embarrassing things, but the first one that comes to mind is when I was new to a school in grade three, I was walking down the hall trying to make new friends, and I didn't see a door, and I walked right into it and fell down, and I was only in grade three. Do you think you did a good job teaching it, the students? Did you meet your own expectations of teaching and how? Some days, I feel like I've done a good job when I can walk away from the school and I feel that students have listened and understood something new. Even if it's just a little bit or a lot, each student is different. And on those days, I feel that I've met my expectations. But not every day is perfect. And some days, I get frustrated. Overall. I'm happy with it. So what, <laughs> what does the Y Crew Ceremony mean to you? Uh, y Crew Ceremony to me was one of the first uh, Thai cultural experiences I had after becoming a teacher in Thailand. And to me it represents the country's respect for teachers, which is important to me because I want to live here for a long time. And so I want to feel that my job is respected and that I am respected. So do you think everyone as a teacher feel like you? Like I think that all teachers in the world want to feel respected for their job. And I think that they do a better job if they feel that the students respect them because then they're proud of what they do. If this ceremony doesn't exist, like, does it affect anything? Well, I feel that if the ceremony doesn't exist, then um, students would need to find a different outlet to show teachers that they appreciate them. And I feel that every, every country and every region has a different way of showing that. But the Thai way is very formal and very obvious. So I will go on with the next question. Okay. In your way of teaching, how will you teach the students to become good adults? I think I would like to teach students to be uh, active listeners. So I want students to be the type of people who listen to their teachers before they answer. And to carry that through into their family life and their social life. So the world is a better place when we have people who listen to each other. There's less war, there's less fighting, and there's more learning. Thank you, Mr. Adam, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye. 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 <gasps> exactly. <laughs> Scary. You know that's like a five I did it. Oh, sorry. Hi.